Hey, welcome Omni Dogs and Omni Kittens to the Essential Collected Editions show for September. How'd that happen? I'm Omni Dog, joined as always by Webhead from ComicReleases.com. How you doing, Webby? As X calls you, Dom of X, rather. Great. How are you? Good. Things are good. Things are all a okay. I see we have some books that I have no idea what they're about, but they look interesting. That is often also the case for me. Yeah. <laughs> so you should have your comic releases site open because I'm going to have many questions for yep. you. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is uh, for September 2024. And, uh, Webhead has the comicreleases.com website. I suggest strongly you go there. It's updated through practically April of next year, maybe further out, whatever. And are things getting better finally with postponements and a book? Up to May, by the way. May. Uh, I hope I'm alive to see it. I know I that's dark. I hope sorry. you're still alive to see it. <laughs> dark. Sorry. I take it back. I will be alive to see it. That's right. Um, it, it's fine. There's always stuff shifting around. It's it's not like it used to be. Uh, I did laugh because I think the uh, Conan books uh, moved oh my... again. A couple of. <laughs> wow, I know what is going <laughs> on the there. Time. Gosh, I people are. Uh, I I can see why people are frustrated. I'm not in the market necessarily, but I know people are. So I get why they're frustrated. Um. I, I wonder yeah. what it really is here. I'm going to share my screen for the first week. Think first week of September, which is September 3rd. Omni dogs anniversary and Omni dogs, not forgetting that we already have plans for that day. That's a Stickle Tuesday. To your forehead. <laughs> yes. 30, 35 blissful years um, to upper management. Yes. Thank you. Peace and love. Um, that is awesome. Are you even 35 years old? I'm 38. 38, okay. Just barely skated up there. <laughs> you did. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got the first one I know nothing about. I can already tell it's something about the Court of Owls, though. We've got uh, Batman City of Madness, the first week in September. Black label standard hardcover. I know you don't like that, but we're gonna ignore that. What um do you know anything about this? Author, illustrator? Actually, you know, it it's it almost seems like something between a standard and OHC. Oh, interesting. This one I may have looked at it wrong before because it looks like it is a black label OHC. That, I ha oh OHC. Okay. They have they have put out black label books that are standard size. They have. I, I think I uh, I misread when I was looking at the measurements because I looked at the first number and it was like whatever, and then I'm looking at it now and I'm like, oh wait, no, this is okay. This is so this, this is an, okay. Come on. This one is uh, Christian Ward. Um, I mean, is I think it's artist? a self-contained thing. Buried deep beneath Gotham City, there exists another dog, another Gotham, and it is about the Court of Owls. Okay. All right. I'm hmm. The cover looks good. I think it looks like he, I recognize that looks like Christian Ward's art. That's why it seems so. He he's an artist writing this book. OK, we'll see if yes, yeah, he's doing art and writing. Correct. OK, we'll see if he is a good writer or not. I am going to hope that he is. Because I love Batman. Deadpool. Epic collection, Johnny Handsome. I don't know that I've read Christopher Priest's run on Deadpool. Hmm. It must be a short piece of it. It's in the middle of, uh, I think this is like volume one. It says 34 to 45. Hmm. Okay. It's got an issue of Black Panther, which would be really funny if they put Priest's name first because of uh, one issue of Black Panther. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Um, uh, that looks like a Lifeldian Wolverine coming at me in the sword. It does. It very much does. Okay, for uh, epic collectors. Paco uh, Diaz. 
Okay, so the other name, Diaz, that one's the the Deadpool issue writer. Oh, okay. So okay, so it is Priest because it's Black Panther in there. Right. Inter- interesting. They're, they're being real coy with that. <laughs> okay. So there's that. We're the first week of September. Oh, Elseworld Superman Volume One. I I Okay, actually. Sorry. For these. What? Oh, you want me to go back? They are priest. I went to my comic shop to get the, a better look at it. Written by Priest, art by Paco Diaz. Oh, okay. So Good. these are just smack dab in the middle of that Deadpool run. I think it's between the um Joe Kelly and whoever came after. Oh, okay. I have read Joe Kelly. Elseworld Superman. I love these. I had no idea there were so many. They're chonky books. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting all of these and I am going to read these. I know everybody I think thinks like I buy eight them. of them. Wow. I know there's at least a couple Batman ones. There's three for Batman, I think, and mm. three for Justice League and two for Superman. Okay. Fine. I'm all else worlded up. Let's go. <laughs> Joker Killer Smile Trade. Marvel Encyclopedia Collector's Edition. Oh, look at that cover. I almost didn't put it, but I was like, eh, someone cares. Oh, yeah, I'm sure someone cares. That cover's boss. It is a cool cover. And Mystic. That's that weird, I kept forgetting the name of it, Cross-Gen. Cross-Gen, that would go with the sigil omnibus I have that yeah. I talked myself into keeping because it looked <laughs> it looked good on an overview and I thought this actually looks kind of interesting so we'll see if JP sends me this to overview <laughs> it's a cool looking cover I don't know I, I love anything with mysticism in it quick stop what is this quick stops volume um, two the art is something Oh, oh Kevin like. Smith. Yeah. From the Annals of Ask Ask Universe. Ask Universe. The, Ask Universe. I think that's the name of like all the, the universe all the like Kevin Smith movies are in. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a funny cover. Okay. Yeah. Quick stop, standard standard hardcover. <laughs> Whoa, Slain the Horned God. That's a boss set. I have these. And... I pre-ordered it. Oh, you did? Okay. I have the the things that used to be hard to find, and now they're not hard to find because you can get this. I Peace and love. I haven't read it yet, but I mean, it's Bisley art. And I I think this is going to be a boss th- book because it's. I've heard nothing but great things from European and especially UK viewers, they they think this is pretty cool. So um, this is the first week of September. Yeah, and that one's, I think, put out directly by um, the 80, 2008 2000 Rebellion. Okay. okay. Sleeping Beauties, is this a collection, standard hardcover? It, it came out. I have two volumes of this. This must be a collection of everything. Uh, it just says Deluxe Hardcover Remastered Edition. Okay. I was kind of was like, IDW, stop calling it Deluxe when it's a standard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I really, this is one of those books that I've been meaning to read. And I know I say that about everything, but everybody, quiet, stop, leave me alone. I mean, yeah. I mean to read all of these at some point. But, uh... Yeah, but I really wanted to read this. It has an interesting premise. <laughs> Here in T Compendium, Volume 3. Yep. Are you TM in tears? They look super cool. Yep. Those yeah. Compendiums. Oh, Shadow Man, Valiant, Hero, Hero, Hero Universe Origins. So... 
Ooh, yeah, they have some new line out. Yeah, that uh, Alien Books is reprinting these. That's good because these have been out of print for 12 years practically. Some of these things. Maybe someday as they do this, they'll think to go back and do Omnis of the new stuff that everyone likes. Because I ain't yeah. doing that hunt. I'm not hunting them down. I, I would All think it'd be seas. really difficult at this point. Yeah, I'm not doing it. And book four of Vinland Saga. Deluxe, probably. Just his favorite manga. <laughs> I have no idea what this is about, but <laughs> peace and love to all of you out there who love it. I'm glad you love it. And this is the last. Oh, this is an omnibus. X Factor, the original X Men, the original X Men, X Factor, omnibus. A short conversation about this book. Okay when we get to the next related book okay so there's mutant masker one so we're going to talk about those two okay so this is the end of the first week and we're going to come back to this yeah okay all-star batman oh the deluxe edition this must be all three of those books yeah is um have you read this i haven't i was curious if it was um i read I've read all three of the, if this is the three all-star Batmans that I'm thinking of two were okay. And then the third one was good enough for me to keep. I, I feel like I, when did I read these? Uh, I feel like I read them at least three years ago. It feels like, and I think my expectations were too high because it was Scott Snyder. Snyder. Yeah. Um, so the first, I, I'd be willing to revisit this. Um, I only kept one of them. The other two, I thought were, uh, but maybe I, maybe it's a me problem. Maybe I, maybe I had my expectations too high. So a lot of good artists on this. Oh, Tula Lotes in this too. Wow, look at all those good artists. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I will consider this. This is the second week of September, September 10th, my brother's birthday. You. I'm What's watching that? you in real time try to Who talk is? to yourself. And I'm watching you in real time <laughs> talking to yourself into buying this. It's fine. I already have. I'm only kept the third one. It was all right. Maybe I'll get it. I kind of like it. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to get it right now. <laughs> there you see my neurotic relationship with books. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> you see his hand moving. He's actually moving to open a new tab to go buy that. <laughs> to pre order it. <laughs> Uh, this is a big deal. Avengers Volume 2 of the Busiek Perez Avengers with Scarlet Witch looking like a belly dancer there in the front. Good for her. It's a look. Yeah. It was the 90s. But right. <laughs> well, this is, these are two of the biggest stars in the universe. So this, I think uh, this has to be good. I don't actually own this, but that doesn't mean I can't. And Batman 66, which is fun so parker and the all reds this is a lot of fun i didn't know it was out of print but it's it's sure worth picking yeah. up if you are if you have for edition okay yeah this is an omni worth picking up it's kind of crazy fun i mean all red even gets the mustache on caesar romero up here right and so <laughs> I know he and I grew up watching that show for like for real. So I'm sure he has a fondness for this. Um, I'm pretty sure even my dad grew up watching that too. Yeah. All right. Don't make me feel older. Your dad. Great. I, I mean, I think my dad's young. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Second week, uh, September 10th. Uh, World's Finest Return to Kingdom Come Volume 4 Standard Hardcover. Interesting. I need to still read Volume 3. The first two were great. Let me give a shout out. We all know how great Dan Mora and Mark Wade are, but Tamara Bonvillain's colors are awesome. They, I just read her. Sorry. I just saw her colors in Once in Future that I read. Whew. Her colors are great. I'm hoping this run gets like an Omni or something. Oh, I'm buying it, so I'm sure it will. Yeah. Keep yeah. at it, Jess. 
Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> no problem. And uh, Joker Year One standard hardcover. I. Zdarsky. Zdarsky, Joker Year One. I don't think. Is this? I'm trying to. Th what I'm trying to think of is this: if this was released in trade first, or if this is the first collection of it. I don't. Mm. Don't think I have this. So this is probably the. I think they've been doing hardcover first, then trade. Yeah, if I'm and, not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I really like Zdarsky's Batman. So I know some people oh. out there. They're coming out the same day, the trade oh, and the hardcover. Oh, the trade and the hardcover. Okay, good. I don't have this. Um, I'm definitely going to get it, even though I'm so sick of Joker. I hope Zadarsky makes him just <laughs> super interesting. Volume three of Den. Okay, cool, cool. I have volume one. I still need to get volume two. This book is so weird. Yeah. Every time I see pictures of the, if I see the cover, I'm like, like, yeah, it's very odd book. looking. I bought the first hardcover. I have no idea what I'm getting into. <laughs> um, volume three. Yeah, I haven't read the first hardcover yet either. <laughs> like, I don't know either. <laughs> uh, now, I have heard this is great. Joker by Tiny Onion, that it's more of a chief. Uh, it's more of a Commissioner Gordon story or a Detective Gordon story. Not sure which, but. I got these because of multiple recommendations from viewers on how good it was. And it's Tiny Onion, so he hasn't let me down yet. Mighty Morven Power Rangers, book three, OHC, Deluxe Edition. Is this a reprint or is this a new, a new series? New. This new is series. from the newer stuff. So it's okay. like Mighty Morphin. Oh, 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 and Power Rangers. Power Rangers. I feel like we had this exact same discussion the last time book two came out. It's we confusing. Did. We're because... probably going to have it every time one of these comes out. <laughs> it's confusing. I, yeah. Uh, so this must be remastered Uncanny X-Men volume one. Um, yeah. One, one of the bosses comics ever, ex except for the, you know, Deadly Genesis part that happens, but Otherwise, it's really cool. Oh, oh, wait, that's the entire issue. No, I love this, uh, the beginning, except for that. Wait, oh, it's Chris Claremont, so it's not Brubaker. And yeah. Lane Wayne down there at the bottom. Okay, so this is before Deadly Genesis happens. Wait, why does it say Deadly Genesis? Am I thinking? It's the name of the original event, or the original Is this where we line. see Vulcan and... The Shi'ar no. Empire and stuff? That is the name of a of an event in the 2000s. But that's just, that's the one called X-Men Deadly Genesis. Deadly Genesis, I think, is just the name of the storyline in Giant Size X-Men. Got it. Maybe. Okay, then I do remember this is cool. Wait, I can... I have a whole hardcover specifically for this run. <laughs> Cyclops, <laughs> Death, Nightcrawler, Clauses Will Reign, What If, True Deadly Genesis, nothing about Vulcan, nothing about okay. No, no, that so, stuff. That, yeah, yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the OG stuff. Len Wayne Good. and Dave Cockrum. Yeah, awesome. Okay, this is great. And it's remastered, so the art's gonna be boss. Nightwing Time of the Titans. I think this is the fifth and final volume from Tom Taylor. Not sure. I, Good question. I don't know, but but I I read the first three and love this run. Love it, Tom Taylor, so good, and that Bruno Redondo art is amazing. And Bite Wings, uh, awesome. I can tell you if the next issue is still him or someone else. Nope, next issue after that is still Tom Taylor, so they must be. Mm, okay, good. Yay! More Taylor Nightwing is always a good thing. Star Wars Epic Collection. We're still in the week of September 10th. The Rebellion Legends. Okay. There's so many of these. Um, I, I'm looking at this and I was like, good God. It's Star Wars. The Rebellion Epic Collection, right? 
volume six of just the rebellion oh it's weird like they don't give them different names oh <laughs> this right it's just i didn't the I rebellion didn't... one two three four five six i'm glad you said that this is the volume six so the rebellion went on for a long time well, i guess so big time yeah. that's one really long rebellion <laughs> <laughs> They did make three movies out of it. So. Well, it's true. <laughs> I'm guessing they just kept that line because every one of these, it's got a bunch of little mini series in it. Mm. It's like this one's got like Star Wars: Shadow of the Empire one through six, Bounty Hunter: Scoundrels Wages one issue, Classic Star Wars: Return of the Jedi two issues. Like it's just got a bunch of little stuff just stuffed in there. So okay. that's probably why it's got such a generic title because they're mm. just like I don't know. Here's a bunch of Dark Horse stuff. Go. <laughs> okay. I've heard lots of good things about this era of Dark Horse stuff. Yeah, same. Trigun Deluxe Edition. This is for those of you out there who love manga. I've heard of this. So at least I've heard <laughs> of it. You might have fun with that. Sagio Jimbo Ice and Snow. Standard hardcover. Interesting. Yeah, it's called Volume 39. <laughs> I'm not really sure what that's all about. I guess uh, because there's been a lot of this standard art covers. I don't know. Is this who is he back with Dark Horse? This book is with Dark Horse. Okay. Because he was he was somewhere else and then I think he came back to Dark Horse, so I'm not sure. I oh. Think. I know the first that double set was with IDW, wasn't it? I, that, the that, um, said, I think that was fan graphics. Yes, there you, you're right. Yeah, but 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 he was with Dark Horse, and then he did something else. And then, I, I sorry, he did we're, something this, with IDW. This is it could be IDW. I, this is not a germane conversation no at all. Whatever, <laughs> I'm off on the rails. Sorry, no one Doesn't cares. Matter. Here is <laughs> Doggy for those of you. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and the final book, oh, this is the controversial X-Men Mutant Massacre prelude. Prelude. Okay, yeah. So, controversy aside, you got a decision to make this month if you're buying these books. Is this going back to buy... the original X-Factor? The original years yes. that we talked about? Okay. Yes, that's why. This okay. book includes... I think I would have this ready. This book includes X Factor 1 through 8. So, if you have bought the original X Men Omnibus Volume 5, which I have sitting over here. And Me too. As I roll my eyes. Me too. And the only thing you wanted was X Factor, and you've collected X Men Omnibus Volume 5 and all the million events after. As far as I know. There's no reason to buy the X Factor Omnibus unless you just like want it or whatever. If you're if you're just trying to be economical, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell my volume five and I'm gonna buy this. Okay. Because this includes the only missing issues. Because Mutant Massacre picks up with like issue number nine of X Factor and then the 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 many event omnis just carry it forward. But I'm st- if I get, but I have to get this if I've got volume five and get rid of volume five somehow with the glut of them on eBay, it's probably going right. for $20. So, or, okay. or, and that's the decision. If you, if you haven't bought anything, buy this. Yeah. You're smart. You, know, <laughs> you didn't get volume five, buy this. That's probably the smart money. Yeah. But it, you know, it depends on how you're going to collect it. But if you're trying to be cheap like I am, I'm trying to maximize the yeah. bank for my buck. And this is the best made. book to get if you plan to get all the other stuff. Now, if you only want X Factor, obviously just go buy the X Factor Omni or whatever. But I think the the best way without double dipping as much is buy this. It comes with the X Factor issues. The next crossover Omnis come with more X Factor issues. You'll be piecing together all of X Factor across the many Omnis they have for the events. That's probably the easier way to go. Okay. So something to think about. Look at the contents closely and what you have already. Just kind of pay attention. I I don't want to like ascribe some ulterior motive to Marvel. I think they just put out the volume five. I bet that Omar kept going. People really want those extra issues. Right. 
And so they put out these alternate versions that sort of solve a problem they created by not just putting those in the <laughs> in the volume in the first pie. place. Yeah. So I think they're trying to sort of fix that issue, but if you already bought it, it's like, ugh. So pay close attention to the contents of both of those Omnis, the X-Men Mutant Massacre Prelude and the X-Factor Omni. And just see, you know, it's up to what you want on your shelf, but the right the cheapest way with the least number of books <laughs> is replace your volume five with this yeah otherwise you know if you've got volume five and you just you could just buy the x factor omni too okay that's the end of the week of september 10th and we move on to oh absolute batman the dark knight master race i actually I heard some a couple people say good things about this and that is where i'm gonna leave it <laughs> i've heard some people say some good things about this uh i know jake from the brave and boys has to buy it because he's an absolute crazy person so he's gonna get this no matter what so good for you buddy this is the week of <laughs> september 17th by the way Detective Comics, Volume 3 of Rom V's run. Yeah, Volume 3 I'm... of Gotham Nocturne Act 2. I know, that gets confusing. <laughs> it confused me when we talked about Volume 2, Act 1. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is the week yeah, of, doing this story line. of September 17th. Batman Incorporated, the complete series. Trade paperback. I think yep. this is by Matthew the Rosenberg. Trade. This looks interesting. I I do like the concept of Batman Incorporated. Yeah, this think... is Ed Brisson. Ed Brisson, okay. Uh, I, th I think I'd rather have this in standard hardcover, but it's probably cheaper to get this chonky trade. So I'll see. I haven't committed yet. <laughs> I'm having commitment issues on this. Batman, book one, trade paperback, Grant Morrison. Phenomenal run. Great art. I love this book. I'm keeping my Omnis, but if you haven't read it, this is a good way to collect it. The week of September 17th. Bloodstain. That looks like Stefan Shazek that she's this is by Linda Shezik, and she's covering him up with a blanket. I I don't know what this book is about, but I'm intrigued by the cover. Stepan Shezik, friend of the show, by the way. We interviewed him back during the pandemic. Nice guy. I can read the chemistry major. Elliot Torres has been unable to keep a steady job, but eventually accepts one by a rumored mad scientist, Dr. Vlad Stein. Upon arriving at her new workplace and meeting her new boss under some rather unflattering circumstances, Ellie tries desperately to make a good impression on her first day. The only problem is both she and her new employer seem to be clueless as to what her job is supposed to be. Finally secure in the knowledge that her eccentric boss isn't actually a mad scientist, Ellie seeks to prove herself as a competent lab assistant. Okay, I still say this is really step step on Sejic on that she <laughs> is drawn there, and that that's her like after he's been on a writing binge. But okay, Linda, sure, <laughs> some mad professor there. What are you saying? Complete Darkness, Volume Three, standard hardcover. Ooh, that guy's jacked. <laughs> the next one Danny Ketch Ghost Rider Omnibus You're Welcome I searched out like the two complete collections I think and now there's the <laughs> I even remember reading this back in the 90s if this is what I'm thinking of Danny Ketch Ghost Rider but I know a lot of people are excited for this I may even get this and toss the other things that I have or give them away. That's a darn cool cover. I bet that was glow in the dark in the 90s. It had to have been. <laughs> very, very likely. 
Green Lantern by Jeff Johns. Book two, Revenge of the Green Lanterns. Great book. Hulk Epic Man or Monster. Lee Kirby. So this is early Hulk. Old stuff. So uh, let's see. Number 21 through 6. Oh, this is the original. Oh, 1 through 6? Yeah. Okay. Sounds right. Mm, interesting. They actually used a new cover, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't remember what the original I book looked like. <laughs> Joker, the world. Yeah, Joker. I have no idea what this is. I'm not, you know, <laughs> peace and love. Good luck, everybody. I'm so tired of the Joker. I hope you get this and love it. Really, I do. I'm not. Micronauts, <laughs> Volume 2 Omnibus. So I know a lot of people are excited for this. And there are three covers. Three covers, okay. <laughs> You're likely to have your choice, your pick. This I is will like say, point of advice... Ice T's been selling out of uh, variants kind of quick lately, so mm. if, you know. Although they make yeah. it restocks, but if you're trying to get it on release day, you know, hurry. <laughs> uh, okay. This is the week of September seventeenth. Merca and Dolfo's hot paprika. That looks spicy. Hot paprika omnibus. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I know everybody, I already know everybody thinks I'm going to get this. So I, I have to get this <laughs> just because everybody thinks I'm going to get this. So yeah, of course. I have to. Yeah. Marvel <laughs> Masterworks Ghost Rider, Volume 6, Johnny Blaze. Ah, uh, Superman Triangle Air oh. Omnibus. I'm excited about this. September 17th, the week of still. I know everyone is excited about this. Yeah. Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 4. That's a cool We're cover. Yeah. Unity Valiant. Oh, good. They're putting these things out. Valiant Origins, Unity, Matt Kent. And... The last book on the week of September 17th is Venom Shiver, Modern Marvel, Modern Era Epic Collection. Marvel Modern Era Epic Collection, Shiver. <laughs> there. <laughs> and then we move on to the final week based of September 24th, Batman Arkham Saga Omnibus. From the video game, I played the first video game and loved it. Played the second video game and said, I'm done with the, all these checklist things that I have to do. That's enough. But <laughs> if you love the game, this is probably going to be really cool. I love that first game. Berserker Deluxe OHC. That's the... I thought the book had gotten canceled. And I realized... For some inexplicable reason, they issued a new ISBN for this book. Hmm. So anyway, not canceled. Okay. <laughs> Department of Truth Wild Fictions. Hmm. I love Department of Truth, so I will definitely get this. Wild Fictions. Tiny Onion and Martin Simons again, probably. I know it's Tiny Onion. Elric, Making of a Sorcerer, the Michael Moorcock Library. Walt Simonson art, nice. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Neat. Yeah. Elseworlds Justice League, Volume 2. That looks like really Super War with Sideburns. That looks like me in high yeah. school right there. <laughs> 
I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm definitely getting it, volume two, because there's some really cool stories involved and a, and a bunch I haven't read. Uh, but yeah, there's there's me in high school with the sideburns. <laughs> Scalibur volume three. I imagine this comes with two covers. This is the final week, September 24th. The other cover is Phoenix mm. flying. Okay. Excalibur Omnibus, a big deal to a lot of Excalibur fans. Fantastic Four Epic. Counter Earth Must Die. <laughs> wow, a lot going on on that cover. Okay. Je mm, I have to get this. That's the only thing I collect in Epics is Gen X. <laughs> Pride and Penance. Yeah, I have to get this. If you find this, I'm already dead by Matt Kint. Hmm. Oversized hardcover. Ooh. <laughs> this is interesting looking. Okay. Joker, the man who stopped laughing, the complete series. I am Omnidog, the man who stopped caring. <laughs> you could not have read that with less, less emotion. <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, it's another Joker book. Uh, Peace See, and love, this one Matthew is Matthew Rosenberg. <laughs> I'm sure it's great, but I'm just not. I, I'm over it. It's even got peace and love on the cover there. It says <laughs> love and peace, I think. Okay. Love and peace to you, Matthew. I'm sure you wrote well, great art, but mm -mm. now I okay, NYX gallery edition. This I kept my NYX because they didn't collect it anywhere else. And this is the reviled one where she is a lady of the night at a young age. How is this a gallery edition? People don't even like this book i don't know some people must uh, okay i mean i i kept it because i wanted the full thing and i remember reading it and you know i i get the parental advisory on this um but I, hmm, I think it's an odd choice for a gallery edition but if you want it out there good here it is in gallery size was ooh poison ivy <laughs> volume three of the standard hardcover morning sickness this looks interesting this series kills it's so good ah a lot of people excited about this omnibus spider-man the complete black costume saga yeah buddy this is the final week of september september 24th Spider-Man Deadpool, Duggan. Yeah, there's like 50. <laughs> like I was, yeah, all right. A lot of creators. I know that <laughs> there was a Joe Kelly uh, one, but I know this um, Till Death Do Us this is a mar modern, mo modern era Marvel, whatever. It's an epic that's modern. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, I, there are like... There was like seven trades of this, plus like a Joe Kelly hardcover. Um, let's see, spider, 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 spider. Uh, yeah, I don't see it right now. Spider-Man, Deadpool. Uh, I don't see it. Maybe it's up with what? Uh, it was an oversized hardcover. I can't remember. I feel like it was Joe Kelly, so I don't see that in here. I don't know what you're talking about. You do know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Are, yeah. I think I okay. have that hardcover. Right. I'm sure you do. We three, if you want to get your heart ripped out, just, this is a complete Yay. tearjerker book. Great <laughs> art. Very accessible for Grant Morrison uh, book. 
on the on the uh, Klaus to on one and the filth at number ten. This is like a two or three. This is very relatable, understandable, but it's it's going to break your heart. I'm just warning you. I need to get hurt. <laughs> yeah. And I think this is the end. Marvel. I'm sorry. Extreme X-Men Omnibus from Marvel. Okay. So there we go. And I think that we've probably gone on. This is like at 40 minutes. So we probably should just zip through everything real quick. Yoink. First week of September. You know something I was going to mention? The um, that black label Joker Killer Smile I thought was interesting. It's the it's the same oversize as the hardcovers. Oh, the trade is interesting. That is interesting. There's the first week. We're on the second week of September. I think this book is what I'm most excited for. Oh, and the the um, Poison Ivy book. Yeah, it's a lot of standard hardcovers that I'll be getting. I don't see any. Oh, and the Superman Triangle Years. This is the mm, second week of September. Yeah, that's the big one for me. Okay, we talked ad, at length about that one. <laughs> well, this, yeah, there's a standard hardcover I'm getting. A lot of Marvel Omnis. There, that's China. one that I'm interested in. Ultimate Spider. Is that the one you're interested in? Oh, for sure. Always. Yeah. Okay. Venom. That. That, <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and that was the third week, and now this is the last week of September. Oh, yeah, I'm interested Part in that one, too. Yeah, I'm interested in that one, for sure. Kind of interested in those El old Elric books, but there's like, there's like 80 of these things. Ooh. I need them to make a collection, not a bunch of tiny little... Like you yeah. guys, and half of them you can't get from the same place, and it's just oh, there's so many. Maybe when Titan figures out how to finally print their first omnibus, <laughs> and go back and do it for more stuff than just Conan, right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of Marvel Omnis this month, this coming month. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so. Um, so please go thank you for watching please go to comicreleases.com there'll be a link down here in the description box we'll also have a live version of this and go to webhead's uh, comic uh, releases patreon what do they get when they sign up for the patreon mostly the big feature is the access to the watch list so um any books that you're I've expanded it out. So books that you're you know, watching, that you've ordered already, you can put in like order information, tracking number, all that kind of stuff, just to keep track of all your stuff. The idea is like everyone has that spreadsheet sitting on their computer somewhere where they're tracking all the stuff they bought <laughs> in the various states it's in. My hope is this replaces that. Mm. Okay, cool. With, you know, info from a site that's constantly updated and, and new stuff is added to, so you don't have to go and deal with that. Okay, nice. All right. Well, I'm Omnidog. Thank you, uh, Webhead. And I appreciate everybody hey. watching. Peace and love. What? Peace Don't and love? Don't forget your, uh, your code. For oh, OPB. oh, oh. Whoop. <laughs> Here's the code. Thank you. Organic Prize Books code Omnidog for $2 off and 5% off shipping four more books together. Omnidog, sit. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, and I will use my theme song to play us out. Peace and love, peace and love. Thank you, everyone out there.